what is going on y'all this is going to be maybe my last uh, video of the national sports collector collectors convention um man what a time man so the last time the last one i went to was in 2012 and every year after that i was like this is the year i'm gonna go this is the year i'm gonna go and my wife honestly she was just as excited as me to go because in 2012 she went me and she had a blast looks like my little man just woke up um and and life kind of played its its cards and she couldn't make it this year but so incredible man I met so many of you guys and it was so much fun man um i'm not gonna do the whole name every single person thing um just because i can't remember everybody um i'll sell you oh well thank you um i think um some of my key takeaways and and if i don't call you out please don't be offended um, but some of my key takeaways is is Bob Barth and Derek Robbins and Bob Wilkie are probably my three long lost brothers from birth. Um, those three dudes were freaking incredible, and I probably could talk to them as as real as you could with like your best friend. I'm saying because I like to do some off colored jokes from time to time and. And I'm not very politically correct, and uh, it was kind of nice, you know, just letting it rip with those three dudes, man. It was great. It was so much fun. Um, met the freaking a guy I kind of consider the godfather of the of the YouTube community, uh, Michael Wilkie Sevens, um, as a class act as as there could be in the community. Um, Chris Fraylin, Sictifer, great dude, man so cool to talk to um i felt like he was a little quiet and more quiet than i thought he would be um but i'm sure i just wasn't around him enough um my boy michael phillips this film not yet rated um he was there for me like every freaking day of my last deployment three years ago um as far as writing me um and it wasn't like facebook it was like emails um shooting the breeze just asking and talking about anything and everything during that uh, 10 month deployment and it was so great to finally meet him um smitty that freaking tall drink of water that dude he's a pretty big dude man um it was great to meet him it's great to meet other ttmers um ellis cards christian met him for a little bit mike o um spent a, a fair amount of time with him um Phil, Sweepa, I think it's Sweepa 21. That dude's huge, man. I'm telling you right now. I'm 6'2", and I had to look up to him. So he's a big guy. Great to meet them. Um, I don't know, man. There was just so many, so many people. The boys from RBI Crew, John Summers, that's another dude that is just as nice and as funny as you could ever imagine, man. Great dude. Um, Jason Collins. Cool cat, freaking um, Jason Wilman, <laughs> that dude, man. I forget what night it was, but he threw back a couple cold ones, man, and that dude was like freaking the Tasmanian devil, like my my type of sense of humor, man, just loud and unleashed, and it was freaking hilarious, um, and so many more, man. Okay, um, Nate Blackford, Aaron Davis. Uh, Everett, how could I forget Everett, man? I ate breakfast with Everett every freaking morning. Him and, and Joey Burkett ate, I think it is. Um, my roommate, freaking Drunk Trojan 1, Luke. Um, so, so crazy. So I've never just had a roommate just that i never freaking known before. And I couldn't imagine a better roommate than Luke, man. We'd go in the room. He'd show me what he got. I'd show him what I got. We'd talk a little military stuff you know we'd talk about the hobby um so just you're gonna hear this in everyone's video man it's just amazing and i think the reason that you hear it in everyone's video because it's so true and i wish i had better words to explain the feeling of camaraderie in the community but you know i've told this so many times it's we watch each other's videos for years 
And if you don't like somebody or you don't like how they carry themselves, well, you don't watch their videos. So if you watch my videos, you know, one or two videos a week times 52 weeks times how many years that I've been on here, you know, you have a pretty good feel of who I am. So when we meet in person, there might be, you might have your guard up for literally 10 to 30 seconds. And after that, man, it's just the boys hanging out like you've known each other for years. And it's like that because you have known each other for years. So that is that. Um, I'm going to get into this and this is going to have to be a two-parter because um, I'm expecting some people to come over here in about five to ten minutes. Um, so here's some, I'm going to go through this really quick. Um, Tiny Archibald, he was one of the signers. We got him on this printing plate. I think it turned out beautifully. Um, these were from Everett, I believe. Nope, that one wasn't. Oh, no. Um, these were from John Summers. Um, he just flipped through his cards real fast at his table. And he said, I'm always happy to support a brother. And gave me this. This is my far first Carlos Watkins um, auto. And Will Fuller patch auto. Just here, here you go. No big deal. Um, it was a big deal to me. I freaking loved it. Um, these came from Everett. My Shaw PC definitely grew this week. And so did my Will Fuller PC. Um, so freaking crazy. Um, this one's from Everett as well. Just a beautiful on-card um, Will Fuller autograph. Um, Derek Robbins gave me this one. I've actually never seen this card until he handed it to me, so really cool. Um, Michael Shane handed me this, one of one. And man, how could I forget to talk about Michael Shane? Like, the dude was as genuine as could be. And, and Mr. Shane, I'm sorry, we didn't get to talk uh, as many military stories as I'm sure you wanted to hear. But uh, I guess there's always the, the telephone. Um, this came from my roommate, Luke Counts, from his virtuo vir Virtuoso <laughs> um, set. Um, and I didn't. I got so many Shobs and Fullers, and I didn't have any of them. It was incredible. Um, this came from Mr. Bob Wilkie. This freaking jumbo Shob. This was from a trade that I made with Everett. I pulled an Emmett Smith that he really wanted um, from those damn top 60 packs that um, he was talking everyone into. He talked me into getting one, and I got Emmett Smith. So I figured I better quit while they're getting good. Um, so both of these cards are just freaking incredible. Um, Jason Collins came in and was like, hey, I had a uh, box break last night, and uh, here, you want this? Uh, yeah, I want that. <laughs> Deshaun Watson, three color, four or five break, um, on card, freaking beauty is what we're going to call that. Uh, that's my first Deshaun Watson card, not just autograph, but my first Deshaun Watson card. Um, so this isn't going anywhere ever. Um, I actually wrote on the back of all of these who they came from and what national, um, uh, what event, if you will, I got them. So those will be PC for life for sure. Um, this was one of my one of my last pickups from Flawless. This Claude Bulldog Turner autograph. This was numbered or is numbered to five, and um, I took a picture of it and put it in a couple groups, and it just doesn't pop as much on camera as it does in person man this thing is just incredible so really happy i'm not much of a certified guy um but this is freaking as hot as it gets um i said in my what i hope to pick up at the national video that i wanted to pick up some 1999 gridiron kings and i did i actually got two of the three really tough ones um this one couldn't have came at a better price. I'm wanting to say I paid $120 or $125 for this Bart Star, and there isn't a single bubble in this signature. Um, if y'all know anything about this set, the signatures can tend to get kind of bubbly, um, but this thing is beautiful, man. And this one I got from uh, Ryan at RBI Crew 7. Um, Everett kind of worked a brokered a deal between me and, and Ryan before the show. I believe Monday night, and so when I seen Ryan on Tuesday, I was in his hotel room, and he was like, here, just take it, and just pay me, 
you know when you see me. Um, so he gave me this card, and I paid him the next morning, but I couldn't believe the uh, generosity and trust, you know, um, amongst tubers, if you will. Just here, take this freaking card and just pay me when you pay me. It was incredible. Um, but this Johnny U. So you might be disappointed by the nine um, on the card, but the freaking autograph is what's impressive. It got a ten, and once again, this autograph is freaking flawless. Not a bubble. Um, I planned on picking up the Walter Payton while I was there. Uh, over the week, I've probably seen 20 to 30 of them. And every single one of them had bubbles. Um, I'm not trying to do like a 9-5-10 set or a 10-10 set. But I really want to keep the signatures a 10 if at all possible. Or at least bubble free. Uh, so it might be a long time until I get the Walter Payton. And the Walter Payton is actually, in my opinion, the, the hardest one to get because they're so bubbly. It seems like his signature especially is really bubbly, man. So that is that. Um, my next video will be all the kind of PSA slabbed cards that I picked up, and there's a fair amount of them. Um, so until next time, adios. Bye-bye. It was great freaking meeting all y'all, man. It was just incredible. See you later.